Each May, the, the next round of degree shows start, and it's my job to, to go to as many de degree shows as is humanly possible, really, not just in London, but um, throughout, the, throughout the country. Um, and I'll do that, and I'll, I'll, I'll make a long list of, of artists that, that I find interesting, that I feel show potential, but also I take recommendations from from course tutors, from collectors, from gallerists. It's really important to have that, uh, that input from, you know, from, from people in the industry throughout the whole of the, of the UK. And then after that, it's a, it's a, case, of, it's a, it's a case of taking that, that long list and, and cutting, it down to, cutting it down to 40. Um, you know, I, I do, this, do that by a process of, of studio visits and, and, and general stalking, really. And then, I kind of locked myself away for a, for a month um, to, to, to write the book um, and it gets published um, each uh, January, uh, early in January and we launch it at the London Art Fair. There's plenty of examples of corporate sponsorship of art projects done badly. I, th I think the difference is that Catlin does it for the, for the right reasons and the artists and, and the audience pick up on that. I'm keen for the, the Catlin guide to document a, a certain uh, time in contemporary art, you, you know, document a, a specific period. Um, but I'm also I'm also really keen for it to be seen as um, as as a as a beautiful art object in 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 its own right. If the book can um, facilitate new relationships um, for artists, if it can introduce them to, um, to to gallerists and 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 collectors from all over the world, then um, it, it must be a good thing. <laughs>